everyone. I am Lynette Sharon. Welcome to the fourth chapter of CRM. In the previous chapter, we learned how to create and manage quotations in ERP Next. Today, we will learn about addresses and contacts. By the end of this video, you will know the importance of managing addresses and contacts, how to create addresses, how to create contacts, how to configure address templates. Let's start with defining what a contact and address is. A contact essentially represents a person. A contact person can be associated with a lead, customer, supplier, shareholder, sales partner or even a user. It is important to maintain an updated rooster of contacts so that it will help prevent miscommunication or confusion if an employee leaves the organization or shifts to another client. It also helps streamline processes of communication of various things for example product launches, rebranding or various other things. Moving on to addresses. A business may have the need to record various categories of addresses like shipping address, billing address or even addresses of warehouses or customers. Just like in contact, an address can be associated with lead, customer, supplier, shareholder, sales partner or the warehouse. In ERP Next, a single contact or address can be linked to multiple entities or can alternatively be a standalone record as well. You can also invite a contact to be a user to your website and can access data that is relevant to them. Each country or region may have different formats to define their addresses. Address templates can be customized to contain information on address formats based on different regions. Let's see how we can add and configure contacts and addresses in ERP Next. It is important to keep all your contacts organized and classify them based on the level of activity. To access the contact list from home, you can go to CRM and contacts under sales pipeline. Once you begin to create a new contact, you can record their basic information like name, designation and company name. But more importantly, you can choose their status depending on if the contact is passive, open to contact or has already replied. Updating a contact status routinely will help you keep track of their availability and relevance. To make it easy to reach out to any particular contact, you must ensure that you have their correct and updated email address and phone number. In the contact details section, you can add multiple email addresses and phone numbers and pick the primary one by selecting the primary contact checkbox. The reference section will enable you to link this contact to multiple entities. You can add a new entity by clicking on the add row button. Here you can add the entity you want to link, for example, a lead or a customer. Once you have selected the type of entity that is a lead or a customer, then you can select the specific, specific one in the link name field. Once you add all the necessary details, you can click on save. Some contacts may need to see some data on your website. To allow them to do this, you can invite them as a user. When you open a contact, you will see a invite as user button next to the save button. Once you click on it, a welcome email will be sent to that contact. To view the list of addresses from home, click on selling and then on address under settings. You can also navigate directly using the awesome bar. Creating a new address is fairly simple. Click on add address and add the address title, especially if the address is not going to be linked to any entity like a lead or a supplier. 
Then you can add contact details like email address, phone number and fax. From here, you can continue entering the actual address details in address line 1, address line 2, city or town, county, state and country. If this address is the preferred billing address or the preferred shipping address, you can select the appropriate checkbox. If this address is disabled or not valid anymore, you can select the disabled checkbox. Just as we linked contacts to different entities, we can also link addresses to different entities using the reference section. If the address you're adding is your own company's address, then you need to select the Is Your Company Address checkbox. If you want to link the address to a lead, supplier, customer or any other entity, you can fill in the link document type, link name and link title fields just as we did in the contact section. Here's an example if you want to link a lead to this address. You can choose the doc type, pick the particular lead and save it. Once you've added all address details and linked them to all relevant entities, you can click on save. You can also add contacts and addresses directly from an entity like a customer or supplier as shown here. As we know, every region may not follow the same address format. Various address templates can be created country-wise to manage multiple addresses for your documents. Once you define a specific country in the address doc type, the appropriate address template will be pulled in from your existing address templates. To view your address templates, you can type address template in the awesome bar. A default template is created when you set up the system. You can either edit this or create a new template altogether. The default template will apply to all the countries that don't have a specific template in your system. To create a new template, you can click on New, select the country and then you will see a Is Default checkbox which you can select if you want this to be used as your default address template. I hope this chapter helped you understand how to create and manage your addresses and contacts in ERP Next and how you can link them with various entities. You can read more about ERP Next at docs.erpnext.com. In our next chapter, we will learn how to manage customers and customer groups. Thank you.